What's up and welcome to another video. Today I have some exciting news. If y'all watched the last video, y'all know I ran a giveaway. I told y'all we were going to announce the winner of this one, but I'm not going to announce it right now. We're going to announce it after the video. It'll be a banger. I'm sure y'all stay tuned. I catch a lot of fish on the glide baits. These are my three top favorite baits I'm going to tell you right now. Secret sauce to fall fishing. The glide bait. The jerk bait. And the double fluke. Hands down, my three favorite baits to fish in the fall, other than a crankbait, but that's just self known. Everyone knows that because I'm like the crank man. You know what I'm saying? But those are my three favorite baits, and I recommend those to everybody to throw. Without further ado, let's get into this bang. There he is, big. On the second double flip. Sit down, buddy. There he is. Oh, yes, sir. Got that. Hi, guys. I'm sorry about that. I had to catch that fish real quick. I mean, it's not a big deal. Hope y'all aren't mad about me catching a fish. But let me explain the setup because I was going over that and then got completely destroyed on this Rivers to Sea S Waver 168. This bait just gets kicked. I usually throw this on lakes, guys. versus ponds so this is a first for me i'm gonna try to catch it oh i just lost one dang that was a big fish guys guys for a little context it has been raining all day and it's just stopped raining and that's why i said it's really humid that's why it's so hot but we got one bite so far i'm gonna keep chucking this double fluke rig Try to see if I can come out and catch me a Mondo. I'm used to actually throwing a fluke now on a on just a bait caster. So getting used to throwing this big large bait like this on a regular spinning rod is taking me a minute to get used to. I'm not 100 percent I don't, oh, I just got thumped, guys. Like, literally just, like, running. There he is. Oh, I missed him. What? Guys, that was him. Which one did he eat? The white one. Run it back through there and see if you can get him to bite again. I don't think I stuck that fish. So he should bite again. So that's two bites, guys, on the double fluke. It's pretty good. If I can just catch one. So for instance, like I used a bigger barrel swivel for the main tie line for the main purpose that it would sink faster and give them different actions. There he is, Biggin. On the second double flip. Say down, buddy. Little guy. bad for a double fluke guys they're lacking the green when it looks like let's get this guy back so as you can see i got my trusty old spinning rod let's go over the setup super quick i'm going to be teaching y'all how to tie a double fluke because that is what i absolutely whack on in this video so i got a duck it ghost rod paired up with a revo sx spinning rod 40 which is like a 4,000 series, which is way overpowered, but I use this for a lot of multi-species. I also use a red fishing. But let's get into this rig up. So right here we have my main line, which this is 20 pound Power Pro White. You're gonna need a swivel. Actually, you're gonna need two swivels. And you're gonna need two tag lines and two hooks and two flukes. 
or soft jerk baits. The first step is, I've already pre-tied this one. This is about a 10 inch piece of 15 pound fluorocarbon with a number one size barrel swivel. And you're just gonna take your line, real simple, and run it through the barrel. And then I'm gonna show y'all how to tie the second one. You're gonna let it go. Put that thing down and keep the tag in. Next, this is a modification that I've made to the original double fluke rig. Traditionally, you're supposed to use the same size, but I'm gonna show y'all a trick. So you got a bigger, like this is a one odd or two odd heavier barrel swivel. And what that does, it allows the bait to sink faster. You can see it right there. I think it's pretty big. And I wanna tie this on here. This thing actually takes a pretty good amount of time to tie it. So I'm rigging it right now. I'm gonna tie my favorite knot, which is the Paul Moore. Super quick, super easy, super strong. Good to go. Take your knife or your pliers and trim up and tag ends. That helps to have a sharp blade. Alright, now the nitty gritty. This is what I really wanted to get into and talk about. One of my second piece of line right guys. Alright, so what this does is we have our fluke, we have our barrel swivel. This is going to be the main line, and you got your one. So this is a free-floating one on your main line. Because I've watched a lot of tutorial videos on how to do this when I first learned how to throw it, and that, this was unclear. This line is going to be free-floating. Then, bro, did I really lose that line again? Okay, I got it. You're going to take your second line. Same 15-pound test floor carbon, you're going to run it through your main barrel swivel. On the tag Tie the same old polymer knot, just like we've been talking about. Good to go. Got me a trusty old polymer, ain't going nowhere. Gonna cut off my tag again. The fish can see it. Hooks, very important. This is a choke car. Hook with a keeper. I've never actually used that this hook before until this video. When I bought these and saw they were super cool, I was like, man, they're gonna really hold on to the bait. And that's exactly what they do. It is insane. Then I'm gonna tie me upon our polymer knot on this. Guys, if you guess correctly how many times I say polymer in this video. Kudos to you, because <laughs> this is going to be a lot. All right, guys, so we just got done tying the Palomar knot. Boom. Good to go. All right, cool. Then we're going to rig our fluke up. This is what's important. This is really why I left the one on here and wanted to show you. You're going to take your hook. Got your soft jerk bait. You're going to put it in here, right, just like that. See it? I want you to look right there. Bam. You're going to take it up, cut it through here, pull down all the way up to the shank. Pull it up to the shank. It's a little more difficult with this like keeper. And you see how it fits on that keeper perfectly? You're going to take your hook, you're going to put it inside the jerk bait. You're going to pull straight up. Man, this one is tore up. I've caught some fish on this. And you just want it, so you want to be able to run your finger down the back and not feel the point. So then you know it's completely weedless. If you're, however, fishing on a place like the lake where I would personally rather throw this, you can leave it just a little more exposed for you to have hooks very easy to get them. Because I did miss some fish because of that, but I'm throwing it heavy cover. This one is not exactly too scale because I had to cut the line a little bit on that second one. But that is a double fluke. This one, these are running really close together, and that's exactly how my fish that I'm targeting in these ponds like to react to close bait bundles. If I was on a lake, however, I'd like to run it like this, about those frequencies, because it's more realistic. If you want to see me catch a fish on a triple fluke, I will also show you all that in another video. But this is a double fluke. This is one of my favorite baits to throw in the fall, hands down. You just catch fish. Alright guys, y'all just saw that. Got the first fish, the monkey, off our back today. 
I'm gonna re-rig, actually, I'm switching from the sartreuse to a sartreuse in green, and doing the same thing, rigging it up, and he absolutely munched the double fluke. I think I'm gonna try to slow it down and let it sit more towards the bottom, and see if we can produce more bites like that. This is one of my favorite color flukes. So let's talk about how I'm working it a little bit better. I'm thinking that fish hit it when I let it really sit the bottom and I was giving it quick jerks. I'm interested to see now that like I changed up the color. That green was some, like something different, something bright in this muddy, dirty water. I wonder if that will have an impact on like to see like if I get less bites now. Cause y'all saw I got three bites back to back to back. Or like not back to back to back, two back to back, one connection, but three bites overall. I wonder if that will decrease the number of bites I get total. It'd be cool to see how much color really plays a role. Just had a follower. Guys, I just had a follower. I don't know if you saw that in my frame. He's following that white one. Throw back down there. I'm gonna do something different here. Look at super fast. There he is. Oh yes, sir. Got that follower. Oh. Got that follower, guys. You just gotta be patient. Throw back in there. There we go. Number two. Another chunk. Look at that. Let's get him back. And the setup on this is pretty much pretty simple setup. It's a seven foot three medium heavy. Um twenty pound or yeah, twenty pound. There he's got, got, got one. Oh my god. Holy cow. On the glide bait, paired up with the Pro Ti. Stay down, stay down. Need this fish, guys. I need this fish. He just crushed this thing. He's running. Oh, he's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Oh my god. Oh, I got him. Yes, sir. On the glide bait, guys. Did y'all just see that just happen? Look at this, guys. Literally. What was he thinking but a fish on the glide bait let's get it let's get this boy back i'm so happy right now solid chunk on the glide yo all right guys i'm sorry about that i had to catch that fish real quick i mean it's not a big deal hope y'all aren't mad about me catching a fish but let me explain the setup because i was going over that and then got completely destroyed on this rivers to sea s waiver 168 this bait just gets kicked around bro this bait just gets eat everywhere this is the warden color i'm throwing this bait on 20 pound test cigar abrasex on a seven foot three medium heavy rod with a regular reel it's actually a lowe's pro ti oh lose pro ti i can't speak today guys I'm sorry, I'm still speechless after catching that freaking toad on the good old glide. Bro, glide is my high, man. If you want to talk about fun fishing during the fall, it is with a glide bait. Winter, summer, there's no time you can't throw a glide bait, but it especially heats up during the fall and winter periods i personally feel like in the spring there's other baits i'd rather throw than a glide bait but during the fall transition the fall period and the winter my personal favorite bait is throwing one of these big glide baits in a jig and also a double flute like and a jerk bait we've caught fish on a double fluke today we've caught fish on a glide bait like 
we've got it done. I'm actually gonna show y'all how to rig up the double fluke because it is actually a lot harder than you might think. But I forgot to mention one thing. Knots, I was tied double polymer. Always leave you just a little bit of tag in the line, guys. It's just a little tip. Um, I've actually been doing this with all of my lines because I realized knots slip just a little bit. And I was missing fish. Probably about two years ago, I had a problem where I was cutting my knots too short and I was just missing. I was breaking off so many times. It was happening a little bit last year too. I was just like constantly breaking off. And I was like, can't be the knot. But I was using the uni and then now I use any, both the uni and the polymer, depending on my application. I prefer the polymer knot, it's my favorite knot. Just super strong double line tie. It's juice. But always leave you just a little bit of extra tag in. And you're gonna be good to go. And just don't have to worry about that not breaking, honestly. Thank you guys so much for the support. Let's wrap up another video. From last video, we get away this, we're giving away this six cents crush 50 side crank beat looking real saucy. And the winner is going to be. JT Gavin, DM me on Instagram and I'll sing you this six cents crankbait. Fresh out the box, all right? Without further ado, drop me a thumbs up, notification bell, that big bell right there, and drop a comment below if you want to see more bangs. I'll catch you on the next video, Brad's out.